it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sponsored by Serenity Stems. I just want to thank them really quick for sponsoring today's video and giving me the opportunity to review their products. But before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. But let's get started. This week I had the opportunity to review a small black owned hair care line called Serenity Stems. This hair care line is all about gentle, natural, fragrance free ingredients. And as I mentioned, it is a small hair care line. So they only have three products and I got to try all three. Obviously we start with a wash. So the first step was to go ahead and use the shampoo. So I started with their foaming hair wash, it's supposed to be a gentle sulfate free shampoo with no parabens, fragrances, or dyes. It's described as a non-stripping formula with a clean finish and it's pH balanced for hair and scalp care. It states that the foaming formula ensures easy application while the gentle ingredients nourish your locks. And I've never used like a foaming shampoo, like one that's already foamy when you kind of like, you know, pump it out. I found this very interesting because I really like using body washes that are a foaming body wash, kind of like, I don't remember the exact name, but it's a Dove brand and it, and it comes with a pump where it comes out already as a foam. So I was very, already pretty intrigued with this shampoo just based off that. As described, there is no fragrances whatsoever. So if you're somebody who has migraines that are triggered by strong scents, with this whole line, you don't even have to worry about that. And even though it's a foamy shampoo, it's not very sudsy, which again makes rinsing very, very quick, which I have been enjoying a lot lately, especially since I have so much hair to get through and to work with. It's nice to not have to stand under my shower for like 15 minutes trying to rinse everything out. And it says it's non-stripping, but this is the part of it that took me by surprise. Light foam, doesn't suds up very much, but this removed all the product that was on my hair. After having used some lighter shampoos over the last few weeks, it was nice to have a shampoo that I, that was going to kind of remove all the old product. And I was surprised it did this because it was such a light shampoo. I just wasn't expecting that and I was thoroughly surprised and actually really enjoyed that fact. So out of the three products, the shampoo probably took me by the biggest surprise and I really enjoyed it. It was nice to have a quick rinsing shampoo that you know is going to remove traces of old product and you can basically start your re-moisturizing routine on freshly clean thoroughly cleaned hair so after rinsing that out i went in with their multi-use product which is the morning mist elixir it is a fragrance free natural emollient that serves as a hair mask deep conditioner leave-in and daily moisturizer for soft supple tresses it states that with gentle ingredients it is silicone and paraben free. It is a decadent elixir of olive squalene, cocoa, I almost said cocoa, cocoa butter and hydrolyzed oat protein to nourish and hydrate hair. It has different directions for each hair type. So if you have straight and wavy hair, it says you can use it as a hair mask, dampen your hair, apply the product and cover with a conditioning cap for 30 minutes, then shampoo. Obviously I followed the curly and the coily hair instructions, which was to apply it as a mask, a deep conditioner or a leave-in. For deep conditioning, saturate wet cleansed hair for 30 minutes and then rinse out. If you've been with my channel, you know that I absolutely adore products that are multi-use. So obviously I was going to use this as a deep conditioner instead of a hair mask. So after shampooing my hair, I went ahead and applied a couple pumps. I wanna say between like six to eight pumps on each section, twisted those up, and then I used a trash bag a little or a plastic bag and let that sit on my hair for 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes was up, I went ahead and started my detangling routine. They also sent me this bamboo wide tooth comb and I've never tried a wooden comb. I've heard that wooden combs are one of the best tools for, for natural hair. I've heard that some people will soak like wooden combs and brushes and oil and that is what they will use to, you know, as their detangling tool or styling tool for their hair. So I was excited to actually get to try this. I'm so used to my Felicia Leatherwood brush that I was nervous that maybe the bamboo brush wasn't gonna do too well, but I stand corrected. This morning mist elixir, it kind of has a thicker yogurty texture, like a smooth yogurt texture, which I love, I love thicker products. I applied two more pumps to each section before I started detangling. And again, starting on my ends, working my way up. And I was surprised at how well this comb was going through my hair. I was essentially able to detangle my hair in the same amount of time that it would have taken me with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. So this was very exciting for me. Not only did the bamboo brush work, but the morning mist elixir left my hair really soft. It had enough slip that I was able to detangle 
super quick. And then of course, once I was done with that step, I went ahead and rinsed it out. You're probably thinking, if it's multi-use, why didn't you just leave it in as a leave-in? I purposely broke this up for this video because I want to see how it acted as a deep conditioner alone, rinse it out, and then when it came to styling, apply more just as a leave-in conditioner. Typically what I would have done is just left it in, but I wanted to see how it worked using it as a leave-in conditioner fresh out of the jar. Side note, I really love the shape of this bottle, the square, for some reason. Don't ask me why, I was just really kind of drawn <laughs> to that bottle shape or that packaging shape for some reason. As I've explained in previous videos, what I've been doing is I do my wash day one day, and the day after I'll kind of do my styling and moisturizing routine that just kind of helps save my arms for the day and kind of splits up uh, my time kind of spent in the bathroom. So after rinsing, I just put them back into the chunky twist and allowed my hair to dry for the night and put my bonnet on. The day after is when I went ahead with moisturizing and styling. So I have about seven large chunky twists on my head and for each of those sections, I split them into three. I went ahead and used my spray bottle to re-wet my hair. And then I added about, I wanna say about four, four or five pumps of the morning mist elixir again as a leave-in onto my hair. And then for the last step, I went with the last product in their collection, which was the Sunflower Herbal Infusion. It's described as nourish and stimulate your hair and scalp with sunflower oil. As a natural emollient, it softens, moisturizes, and smooths the hair strands. With its anti-inflammatory properties, it is light in texture, infused with green tea, parsley, and horsetail. It stimulates the hair follicles, therefore promoting hair growth and a healthy scalp. And as you guys know, if I'm gonna use, if I had to choose between an oil and a butter, I usually go with a butter. Seeing that this was a lighter oil, I was actually pretty excited. And I'm also a huge fan of green tea, not just as a drink, but as an ingredient. Ingredient. So that made me pretty excited to, to try it. Also the fact that I've never tried sunflower oil before and as usual with oils you can use these in many different ways. It says you can mix it in with the conditioner and apply that to your hair. You can apply it to your scalp for you know 20 minutes and then shampoo it. You can just apply it after shampooing and leave it on your scalp, which is how I chose to do it. So you guys know that usually I will go in with like sulfur eight to grease my scalp. Instead, I decided to use this oil. And luckily it comes with a dropper, which is super nice. Sometimes they come with like a, a little pump that squirts. I prefer droppers because again, it makes it easier to apply that to my scalp and I can kind of control the amount of oil I want a little bit more. So I applied a couple drops to my scalp, massaged that in, and then I used about a dime sized amount to go ahead and lock in all the water water and the conditioner on each section before twisting those up. I actually really enjoyed this. It's light, there was no smell, and my hair was it was very smooth. I let my hair dry for the night, put my bonnet on, and then went and untwisted it this morning, which is what you guys see now. And I don't think I've had, besides argan oil, this oil is probably one of my favorite oils for the ends of my hair. My ends feel so soft and hydrated. Usually with an oil is like, they'll have some shine to it. That's about it, but they feel a little rough. This is, which is why I tend to prefer butters. But I didn't, I didn't have that with this oil. I was actually kind of surprised. I was like, maybe I just got lucky, but it says that that's what it's supposed to do is it smooths and hydrates, softens moisturizes, smoothens the follicles of the hair, and it actually did that for my ends. Let me see if I can kind of show you. Let's get up close here real quick. But like, yeah, I mean, it's still a little fuzzy, but it's, I'm talking about just how it feels. It feels very, it, it feels very soft and very smooth, not rough at all. And that was probably my favorite thing about the sunflower oil. Yeah, as you can tell, my hair has some nice shine. It's soft. It's still light, it still have a little bit of residue. I think I might have overdone it with the amount that I used, but I really wanted to make sure that I was locking everything in. But yeah, I think how I'd like to try and do this next is kind of as a hot oil treatment on my scalp. I'd like to try it that way the next time that I use it. I'd also like to add a little bit into the morning mist elixir while deep conditioning. But so far, I love this. This is one of my favorite things about being given the opportunity to review hair care lines, especially smaller brands. Sometimes they just have stuff that knocks it out of the park that's better than fit probably 70% of the stuff you find at the store. And I just I just don't have anything I, I don't have any cons with this with this line so far. This whole line kind of took me by surprise actually. Was surprised at cleansing and detoxing aspect of the shampoo was surprised at the amount of slip that the conditioner gave me and was surprised at the softening 
and smoothing aspect of the oil. So I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And again, I'd like to thank Serenity Sims for giving me the opportunity to review them. This is what makes it so fun to do product reviews for you guys, sponsored or not. And also giving me my first experience to use a wooden comb. I'm sure you guys have heard of other natural hair YouTubers that talk about it or have probably seen them in beauty stores as I have while growing up, but just never had the opportunity to try it. So thank you for giving me that opportunity to try something new as well. But I hope that you guys check them out. I hope that this has piqued your interest to kind of reach out and maybe try some of their products. As always, let me know what you guys think below. Leave a comment, keep blooming, and I'll see you guys in my next video.